Oh my gosh, we're here. We're actually here, aren't we? A special video, so special I'm going to do to my boxers at 6 a.m. Oh my gosh, Top 50 Blade songs. Are you excited for the Top 50 Blade songs? I put, so here we have this, right? This is Nirvana Nevermind vinyl. There's a specific reason why I put that one up. Um, because of the song Drain You. Um, just a joke, just like some stupid joke I had in my head once. I was like, what if they played that song before concerts? Because they're going to completely drain you, right? Like, drain gang. They're ready to completely drain you, so they play that song. I don't know. That was just like a little thought I had in my head once. And I liked it. Okay? Top 50 Blade songs. I wanted to write something about this stuff, but like once I got tried to do it, I was like, I don't know if I could do that. Like, I can certainly tell you my top 50 and have, like, reasons, but... Ugh. Okay. So we did do a voting thing, like, to see which album performed the best. Let me actually check that right now. Because... Okay, yeah, you guys got it right. You did get it right. It's, like, slightly. Like, this album... performed the best... but... There's songs I prefer on another project. Um, but you did say Ice Dancer, so okay. Yeah, Ice Dancer is the one that does kind of perform the best on here, I will say. Um, and then there's another one. But we'll go through the video, we'll see what the T is. Um, I love Blady. First, actually, before I talk about Blady, because this is also a video I'm doing for my top, you know, not sorry. It's also a video I'm doing for my like 1500 subs, right? Like we finally got 1500 subs. It certainly took a long time. Like it's not like we were just like, you know, you know, we're really going up there. I think it took um, two years and three months around there, but not bad, right? Not bad for the type of um, just chilling, just doing my videos, low qual. You know what I mean? Like I'm not some master editor here. Um, I'm still too lazy to figure out the headphone stuff, but also, I'm um, like, it's like a cop-out that I have tonight. It's like, I'm like, please. But I spend enough time with headphones in my ear, I think, outside, right? Like, it's like, it's not going to go away anytime soon. <laughs> um, okay. Top 50 Blady songs. I love Blady. Yeah, also, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of, uh, this channel. Um, it certainly means a lot in the sense where you're the reason why this channel exists, just remember that, right? You subscribe, you watch the videos, that gives a reason for these videos to come up, right? Um, so thank you, thank you for supporting. It's, um, yeah, it's great. Again, and again, I'm not making money off this stuff anymore. Um, YouTube's still not sending me that pin, I, I can't believe they're not sending me the pin, but at the end of the day, I, I'm not really worried about that, you know, you cannot financially, like, you cannot sustain yourself on YouTube money unless you're really a big YouTuber, so it's, like, not really much of a loss, um, but I'm just glad to have a community here, you know, I think what really matters the most is that there's a community here and that we're sharing something together, uh, especially because a large majority of you who comment or I, I you know, who watch these videos are you know, regulars, you do come back, right? So i am become well aware of a lot of people who watch these videos. Yeah. Okay, top 50 Bleedy songs, let's go. Number 50, Nike, just do it. So Red Light, I didn't react to Red Light. Um, I actually listened to Red Light. Um, well, and I had a YouTube channel, but it was still very young. But uh, I did like the project. I was doing it when I was like, I was listening to it when I was doing readings and shit in school. But yeah, Nike Just Do It is a great song. Very sad. Uh, lyricism again. This is Blady being emo, right? Um, very, very catchy, memorable hook. Um, and it's very uh, low key. It's not very um, in your face, right? I think Blady's ability to make very hard beats, like that bass really booming, sometimes not, sometimes very stripped back. I'd say Nike Just Do It is a very stripped back one. Um, yeah, and I enjoy it. 49, Into Dust, this is a single, another thing I didn't react to, I've known this one for a while. Into Dust is a, this is more of a banger track. Uh, this is a quick two minute song, really. Um, again, really selling on lyricism, very hooky. Um, this is much more of a, you always say, I'm a bleed in the club. Yeah, oh my gosh. Amazing. 
Amazing. Into Dust. Thank you, Blady, for that one. Number 48, Freeze. So Freeze is my least favorite song off Glue, but it's um, just based off of a catchy nature, maybe it's at least catchy. But I will say this one's very odd. Blady vocally, um, he, he, he's like stringing his voice or carrying his voice in a different way that I don't think I could really compare to many other uh, tracks, especially tracks on albums, I think. Um, weird hi-hats that kind of follow along with that. Um, yeah, I think I think Blady really sells that song. Next up here, um, 47, Safe House. Yeah, oh my gosh. Glue, Glue is a very interesting project, I think. Um, but I really like, this one and Freeze, I guess, have more like chimes, like ch chimey elements to it in the back, like much more ethereal compared to other songs. Um, this one not really on a, on a hook, but more vocal, like blissful mo uh, vocals from from Blady that that are in this song. Next up, forty six, Puppet Master. Ooh, Puppet Master, Red Light. This one is just like really working on that like acoustic or whatever, right? Like it's not really like I don't really feel this uh, this rap backing with it. But once again, it's um a very emotional track that I think I'm really sitting in. Oh. Yeah, wall. Okay. 45, anything. Um, anything. Wow. Ice Dancer is a very uh, crazy project. It really is. It's definitely the album that I think is... It, it's sort of instantaneous on how the songs hit you but at the same time you know even this one is a little bit more hookier than other tracks just in the sense where I think I think other tracks from Ice Dancer that I like more even though they're hooky dive deeper into lyricism as, as well um, this one really is focusing on hook but god damn it it's so catchy it's so catchy you know we're really feeling hi-hats on here Ice Dancer is the feeling hi-hats project um, yeah gotta love it 44 Everlasting Flames featuring Tie Boy Digital. Um, again, this one's pretty chimey as well, but the ding, 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 hook, hook, Everlasting Flames, Everlasting Flames. That's pretty. And then in the backing, the Everlasting Flames. But again, yeah, just how these songs are kind of produced on Glue. And these are the kind of the lower ones, so you can only imagine what I'll have to say about the ones I, I prefer more. But um, yeah. Ooh. Also, I will say that there's no, like, Crass Trash Island stuff, like, on this, like, anything that's collaborations. This really is Blady, but Tie Boy Digital, this is a feature with Tie Boy Digital, so we can, we can make that work. 43, I Want It That Way. So kind of doing something with the Backstreet Boys, or you can tell that, like, he's definitely connecting to the Backstreet Boys the way he's singing it. Um... But yeah, I Want It That Way is a is an excellent song. Um, there's a lot of uh, like a poppy, uh, falsetto nature on the full, I really feel. Um, yeah, this, this one's very cutesy. And again, I, when it comes to um, these songs on the full, they're very philosophical lyrically, um, which I, I respect the hell out of for real um, yeah so good job lady on that one next up next up here rainbow Ooh, yeah I didn't react to good luck but th this beat is banging bossing um, there isn't any other songs that really sound like this so shout out Mecca talk for that but um yeah Again, already talking about songs where I feel like Blady can just be gutting emotionally. This one is much more euphoric, much more in some happy state. Like, oh, um, yeah, I respect it a lot. Uh, next up, Special Place. Oh, yeah, I don't even really know what to say about Special Place because I think a lot of the things I was saying about anything kind of, um, you know, take the same criticism or like that's sort of how I feel the same way but um special place good hook there um this song too I'd say just w with the title alone like works on theme you know what I mean bleedy kind of feeling uh or kind of suggesting his introversion 
in many ways, like his like I need to be alone sort of vibe. So I, I think that really sells for me. Okay, open systems play, be in your mind. Oh my gosh, we have an extra song. We have an extra song? Yeah, this song is hella underrated. Um, this one doesn't really have like a hard beat or like a lot of noise carrying everything. It's very um, uh, a lot of space to, to be had here. Um, but, mm, mm, like with the hi hats, like very short, like you know, it's not using like speed with those hi hats. It's really just like this tiny little thing that comes in, and uh, it really sells for me. Okay, best song off of um, off of Red Light, College Boy. Now this song isn't like the other two songs that I put on here. This one I think Lady is kind of being um, a little bit aggressive. You know what I mean? Like he is sort of having like a like a hard nature to him, just in the sense of l lyricism too, right? Like there's variety here. This show also shows that with Red Light, there's variety here and the personality that Blade wants to showcase. So I kind of respect it for that as well. Uh, next up, eBay eBay. Okay, this one's a little bit higher up than those other ones, I guess. A lot, really, too. This one's um, kind of adorable in my eyes. I think uh, the the lyricism, like, was he? What does he say? Something about, like talking to females. It's like no one really talks like that, but it's it's just so funny how that comes across. Obviously, very good features from Time Boy and Echo, too. Um, yeah, love it. Next up, drama. We have another uh, one with Mecha Talk. Um, oh my gosh, this one, when I first was like listening to the song, I'd replay it, replay it, replay it. Um, this one isn't like Rainbow, I'd say it really is working more on a, on a trap sensibility, instead of like a house sensibility. Um, but that, like a very, very intense beat with this one. Talking about him being like philosophical, talking about him being a little hard, being a little cool. And I think Oh Well is sort of this uh, very interesting optimism when, you know, life is kind of f failing for you. Maybe not fully failing, but seeing yourself in a position that you don't want to be in, you know, you wish you were in a better position, but, but taking everything, you know, the way it is and you know working with what you have really so I think it's impressive yeah I think the reason why I'm really liking Smart Water too um, this is the first uh, introduction I think to a song on Ice Dancer where I feel with two minutes because um, this one doesn't have like a specific hook right like if the honestly the hook feels like the beginning of the song but this is one that kind of goes and dives deeper lyrically um, so I think this is a song that kind of proves that Blady doesn't always have to work on uh, a course first sort of structure here um, and that he can work on what he wants to say basically um, so good on good on uh, Blady for that one um, okay next two songs here are both uh, songs from the fool so we have let's ride in the fool intro so let's ride. Like again, these songs are so good. The thing, the thing with the fool is, I find it to be a very consistent project, um, like a very consistent project, like very em emotional, but in such a like triumphant way. You know what I mean? Like I don't see Blady being who he used to be on this project. It really feels like it's someone who has learned from their mistakes, not musically, but just like personally and in a way he's wanting to share that lyrically um, and I think with this song too especially with the, the interning with uh, Faith but I just got hired or 360 with God and I can't get fired or whatever like to me or even like I loved yeah like even talking about love in this like love kind of being some universal like a uh, like a human thing obviously when he's talking about love he's not just talking about r romantic that, like with people or even friendships or something like that I really feel like it's literally the raw feeling of love like internally love like how do you understand what that is but also bringing his li like lyrically here really still talking about um, his connection to his his faith I suppose like he does a lot of things for his faith um, like he feels like he always has it, you know what I mean? Like it's it's very strong, it's very there. Um, yeah, I, I I I'm I'm really impressed by lyricism on this. And the full intro, I'm even 
as well. But I like the full, full intro just a little bit more, like that 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 beginning with the repetition there lyrically, like it's it's um this it starts like really like whoa like you're looking around like whoa this is hard you know what I mean like it, it really has that um you know that synth nature with it um oh my gosh yeah Blady Blady kills it there next uh, we have a song from the Good Luck again God this one again very much more much more um dancey again. But this one is a little bit different from Rainbow. Rainbow has more of the euphoric vibes. This one I think is much more like, it's much more cool. Really working on that drum. Lower drum, right? Like, I feel like, it, yeah. Um, it's, it's, oh, I love the vibes on this project. No one really talks about these, the CP. But I think uh, it stands out as being extremely fun. Extremely fun. Um... You can even tell in the process of writing these songs, or actually, even lyrically, I still feel like these songs have some sort of um, meaning, but the way that they come up, um, yeah, him saying that God is love is my drug, this is one song where I feel like that religion is, or faith is not, like, felt that way, it's much more about putting those lyricism, like, putting that lyricism in with the experience of the song, experience of the dance song, right, so... Is a trance, trance element to this, right? Um, a trance element moving with the the faith lyricism. I don't think this. Uh, I don't think Blady wants you to care about the lyricism as much, right? It's much more about that experience. So cool. Okay, Romeo, Romeo, Blady, Blady on Romeo. Um, oh my gosh, yeah, I love. Um, Ever Since is an interesting project for me, or at least when I put all these songs from Ever Since on this list, one thing that I think is very interesting about Ever Since is um, just the variety and structure on the songs on it, I feel. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm stuck in a moment where it's really, like, pushing in your face, and then next thing you know, lyrically, it's not, it's not, lyrically and even how, um, uh, it's almost like a grunge song, actually, like, say, like, the loud, soft elements, like, it keeps coming back and forth. Um, between that, um, yeah, it's, and this is one of them, I'd say, again, um, Blady being this person who, um, like, I don't know, it's so strange, right, like, I feel like on, on this, on this album, he's very, he's, ta he's certainly toxic, like, based off of his emotions, but at the same time, it seems like he's trying to be the good guy. You know what I mean? He wants to be this image, but then he's, like, consistently, um, trying to, like, reinvent that based off of his, like, introversion in a way, or his feeling of not connecting to everyone, uh, around him. Um, yeah, I kind of feel that way. Okay, next up, Bloodville Stillborn. <laughs> This, uh, is in Gaming Stockholm, you said that this would be my favorite song. It's not. It's number 30, so, but, you know, I made it to the list. But the vast majority of Everson's songs that make it on the list. But, yeah. Um, this one's very chill. Much more working on a synth. Very slow, drawn-out song. I think that's why I like this one, too, is that it's much more about, like, I feel like I'm sitting in the vibe with it, like, um... Sometimes Blady songs are hard, we already said, right? But sometimes Blady songs expect you to put the headphones on and just fall into the song. You know what I mean? Just fall into the song. Um, and this is, yeah, I'd say this is one of them. This one's weird, especially uh, um, the, like, the drum on this one or, like, uh, hot kind of, like, a little bit in. But um, Blady is just, like, going and going and going on this beat. Um in a way that I think is very interesting. Um, again, lyrically, he's he's being a little weird here, a little bit more fun, um, but there is certainly a sense of... Oh, shit. I don't even know how to explain this one. It's just so good. It's so good. Okay? It made it this far into the list. Okay, next song I, I can explain a little bit more. Um, Imaginary, off Exeter. Again, this is this, this is a weird one vocally, like him going to, like, 
Um, yeah, again, acts that are two very laid or stripped back songs. Um, oh, I really like the uh, the one part I really like in this song is the in the back. Uh, that one too. Um, yeah. Ooh, Blady. Blady, you're a winner for this one, I must say. Next up, I think, in Hotel Breakfast, just talking about both of the uh, full songs, I think. Um, again, oh, lyricism is, like, sort of repeated through this, or not, like, just, like, the meaning of it, I guess, but I think in many ways, um, it still, like, resonates with me, you know what I mean? Like, really sitting in these songs, or even listening to the album, there's a lot of resonance I think you can find emotionally, um, just thinking of the lyrics right now, I wish I could play the sport I hit, I miss, um, you know what I mean? Like, wishing that you could be someone you're not, or maybe wishing, um, you could perform the way you you want to in certain areas, but it's just potentially not meant for you. You know what I mean? Um, again, and that in a way to me is existential too, right? I've already said this before in my life, but people have to realize that existentialism uh, isn't always about death. It's about state of being, really, how we understand our reality. Uh, and I think... Um, him trying to find out who he is, you know what I mean? Like, Blady is talking in his music and trying to find out who he is, and is still, and even though he has faith, and even though he, he knows that he's done so much with his life, he still has these qualms, I guess, of, um, you know what I mean? Not being everything that he wants to be, which I, which I think is the best part about it is how open he is, because I, the human experience is like never being complete in a way, we're always trying to find out who we are, I think, um, wow, okay, Hotel Breakfast, um, a little bit more of a, a fun one, like I'd say this one is much more, like lyrically is not going fully in that way, but sometimes is. Take a bunch of empty words and make them mean something. Um, I love that line. Ooh, I love that line. Yeah, pop out like a toast. Hotel breakfast, really selling it there. Okay. A short one here, but just very tight in what it's doing. Um, Kingdom for you. Drank God for you. That's what I'm thinking of right now. Love the, obviously love the um, sort of film lyricism in here too. Um, and yeah, this stands out. Even though I know it's like this, like really short song that goes into like Mahor, like oh, it's great, baby. Um, this one has a really booming beat on it. Oh my gosh, I I don't really know what to say about the full songs now that I'm thinking about it. Baby, though, baby, I'm I'm still love. Okay, the I, again, I guess lyrically, I can talk about this one just in the sense of him being this lover boy. You know what I mean? Um, the nine is up. Oh my gosh, this one's a little bit harder of a song. Okay, just talking about a song beforehand where he's more like it's trance and and you know much more of like uh, I'll do anything this, for this woman, and then a little bit more of a hard element with this one. I don't know why it's so hard for him to be like, I'm not Christian, but I'm busting down the cross. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, and he has the, the line, the fear of death and stress causes stress and fear of death. I can't lie, I must confess. So it's funny for him to, uh, it's so weird, right, you know, to have someone be so confident in their faith, but then at the same time say that life is this just paradoxical thing where, you know, potentially, you know, thinking about life and what, what the, uh, what's beside life all the time, kind of, like, becomes a very central focus in, like, how you're feeling in life. You know what I mean? Obviously, he's, it, you know what I mean? Again, not every song on here tries to put existential qualms in that light, but he certainly does. Um, and, and again, I'm trying to see it as a test. Look, his, so him looking at it in a way as if I don't understand, and this kind of feels like depression in a way, you know what I mean? Like, Blady is depressed, but he thinks he's supposed to be depressed. Like, he's supposed to learn something from this. I don't know. 
Um, I'm praying to God, please God, uh, may you bless me. So, I must forgive myself before you can even forgive me. Yeah, so this song is really about trying to be you, in a way. Learning how to be you. Really from, uh, from... Oh, it's very odd, right? Like, it, it, this definitely feels like a I'm trying not to be depressed song. Um, you know what I mean? I have fears of life, I don't understand life, but I still have my faith. I'm praying to God, okay? I, I'm just asking for his acceptance, and I want him to know that I'm trying to be the better version of me. Not for him, but for me. I love that. I really do love that. Um, next up. Okay, we're almost finished this list, I think, right? Yeah. Love Story. Oh, Love Story is a great song. I gotta say, even though the song makes it here, it wouldn't be here without Echo. But Echo's a feature. Um, but that... The, uh, uh, and even... Because he... Love Story is um, his hook. Um, or Echo's hook. Oh my gosh. So good. Okay, next song here, Wrist Cry. Oh my gosh. Again, another ver uh, example of a song off ever since, right? Where here too, starting off this Wrist Cry hook, beats really banging, but then once it comes into this like verse, everything kind of like, it, you know, it strips that back, um, lets them give you some like really good vocal hits, being very sad lyrically too. Um, yeah, I love it. Sun, again, this is just a very chill, laid-back song. I, I'm so happy when this song comes on. Um, oh my gosh, I don't really know how to explain this one. Let me see if I can try to explain this one. The Do You Believe in Love the hook. Again, this is another part, okay, him talking about God with like a house element, right? And then having this Do You Believe in Love with the house element. So again, already talking about love in a, a different way. But what is the love he's talking about? Well, listen to the sound. The sound is love, not Bleedy's lyrics. It's the, so I really like him trying to do that, for real. Um, Waster. Ooh! Again, I love how fast-paced Blady can be on a song like this, like lyrically, how he's he's throwing that out there, and again, already being sad lyrically, um, like really sad, you know what I mean? Like, is his life all a waste? You know what I mean? Like, every, all the lyrics on here are like really fucking depressing. The only way I can make it through the day is I can't say. I can't say, like, you know what I mean? And he, he does it in such a fast way where it feels like he's really, um... He doesn't know where to put the, these feelings or these thoughts, and that's sort of how it comes out. So I respect that. Um, next up here, Inside Out featuring Young Lean. Oh, this one's just really hard, really, like, if this one comes on, I'm, like, living my biggest life. Okay. Um, again, another song that has sort of the same vibe as, like, Waster, but the so song isn't really, um, as depressing, maybe a little depressing, right? Um, but I think even, um, oh, and Young Lean, really good hook, that yeah, we keep up for real. Oh my gosh. Yeah, some scary ass shit. Close is up next. Oh, okay, and then this one is sort of gets a little bit more emotional, I'd say. All this old money really made me feel old. Oh my fucking god. And there's a little bit of a chippy happiness in the back with this one, I would say, too. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, this one? Oh my gosh. Yo, oh my... Yeah, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say about this one. Um, oh, and the drum on the back? That kind of comes in when Echo comes in. Yeah, this... Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, we really like this song. We really like this song. Who goes there? It's the Ghost of October. That comes in next. Okay. Oh my gosh. Again, I, I'm still remembering this song. Because ever since really listening to this album years, kind of before I listened to other Blady projects. Like, like just loving how the lyrics come to me. You're sober, that's not me, I'm a stoner. I prefer it when the world moves slower. Like, people could... Again, there could be lyricism about... There could be lyricism about. 
there could be lyricism about um, smoking weed, doing drugs, or whatever like that, and they don't really have... It's just about that, not about this meaning. I think him kind of, like, proving, like, there's, like, this purpose. And the purpose, too, isn't even, like, to get lit or anything like that. There's, like, a real um, emotional, personal connection with with his, like, marijuana usage, I suppose. Shadow Face with Bones is next. Not even listening to a Bones song before, but, you know, Bones makes it, uh pretty high up here. Good I, I'm not even worried as much about the hook. This is definitely a stand-up hook from uh, Blady, but it really is that uh, the beat hitting and, and falling in, like the whole song is falling. It's almost like a structure of it going down, right? I think uh, it's really Blady's emotional verses on here. Um, yeah, Shadow Face. And Bones has a good uh, uh, element to the adds a good element to this for sure but it, it's much more again when it comes to songs from glue it's much more about like the whole structure or emotion you know what i mean so yeah i respect that shit next song out here frosty the snowman going i'm going oh my gosh i love this song oh my gosh uh, this is just like w now that we're hitting frosty the snowman i feel like we're in the like this is like the classic status songs, where it's um, where it's just front to back. I'm in such bliss, like it's very hard to even want to criticize. Um, um, like I've listened to this song so many, so many, so many, so many goddamn times. This next song, I feel like I can criticize a little bit more. Uh, this is much more of a sadder, stripped back song. I feel like I like some of the sadder ones off ever since more than the ones that try to have like a more present, poppy, in your face hook. Um, this one's a little bit more moody, a little bit more brooding, I think. Not really not really a lot of lyrics, but it really is selling, I think, for me on on, on his emotion. There's no there's actually no other song I think I compared to Sugar and how it sounds from Blady, so goes to just prove once again that there's a lot of variety in Blady's discography. Next up here, and I know this is one that's like really big. Moho Freestyle, you know, people think that this one's overrated, I guess, um, I, I, I guess, I don't know. I really like this one. Um, it's, it's, it's one of the most iconic front-to-back songs lyrically, I think. Like, this is just, like, him straight up having a lot of fun. The beat is so in your face. It's fucking so hard. I love Moho Freestyle. Moho Freestyle is for me. The only song I'm gonna make it into this top ten, this is the top ten now. From the Fool was Eagle Baby. Um, first off, too, if you haven't seen the music video for this one, I love the music video with him wearing like the like the uh, like a jester type shit on. Oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Um, this one really has those hi hats working. Oh my gosh, it's like press your ego. Oh my gosh, eons at a time. So good, so good. Next up here we have R.I.P. by Blady. This is, uh, I love this one. This one is really, I feel like, um, like the sad song I want to put in my, you know, headphones on. Like, if I'm really having a bad day or, like, some bad shit happens, I'll put it on this one, you know. And, uh, oh my gosh. Hear that. Like, lyrically, too, him starting off the R.I.P. My Hopes and Dreams, I Don't Want to Wake Up. That's not how the song starts, but him when he gets into that beat, when that beat finally hits in. Oh my gosh. Okay, X'd out. Oh. Silver teeth like I'm Jaws. Like I'm Jaws. Um, oh my gosh. This is a very short song. Two minutes of just pure feeling that beat, feeling that hook. Like, um, it's, it's such an instantaneous track. Um, there is no really, like, sad lyricism on this one. It's all just, like, hard. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and then next up here, um, again, thank you Time Boy for being on this, but this is one of their best beats, easily one of their best beats when this hits, the Side by Side song, um, oh my gosh. Yeah, so thank you Blady once again for that one. And Time Boy, Time Boy really sells, that's the first, the last song with a feature on it, so Time Boy really sells that. Um, Love Note. I remember listening to Love Note for the first song, and when that beat hits in that... Oh my gosh. It is absolutely... Um, 
like just sh shocking. You know what I mean? Like really prove to me how important Bleedy's music is, or maybe Dream Gang's music. Because just on, on a production level, it seems like there's lots of artists not wanting to make an effect. You know what I mean? An effect where it's like, oh, I feel this way, not because of the sound of the music, but by like what it's doing outside. Like I feel like it's really having some response with me. Um, like I don't feel like there's this like, this physical, um, yeah, it's crazy. Upgrade enabled. Okay, so here we go, right? If you've been paying attention, you know that there's a lot of Blade songs left, or songs from Glue. Upgrade enabled. Um, I don't know what it is, man. Uh, I've listened to these songs, and I think the songs I've chosen as my top are all the ones I've sang the most, or I've really, like, really felt it, like, um, singing along. This one going in, like, a little bit in, like, having that ding, 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 as it's coming in, like, oh my gosh, it's, it's, this is, a uh, Upgrade Enabled is an, a pretty impressive song, up above that one, though, I'm, I'm putting Spellbound, um, I think vocally he really s sells this one, um, but I just like the sort of silly throwaway vibes with this one, especially the Hit Them All in the Sunshine, like, like, there's such a, um, there's such a, I don't know, like a summer vibe to this one, a summer, almost, I almost feel like it's sort of like an animated world that they're living in, um, I don't really feel, uh, like, um, like he wants to be, like he, I, I don't even feel like it's, it's him singing his personality with this one, I really do think it's like an imagined blade. You know what I mean? Um, especially too here with the line, like all my music's gonna sell out. It almost feels like it's before he really reaches that success in a way, big success, or you know, the success success he has now. So he sings about it in a very uh, in, a, in a fantasy type way. Yeah, I love I love Spellbound. Top Man is coming up next. To, yeah, Top Man is such a good song. Oh my gosh, like. I am that Louis Locks on my throat or whatever. Like when he um, when he sings that line, when he sings that line, like that whole part is like I is like one of the best um, vocal performances I've really heard. Like it's 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 shocking. Um, you know it, it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I love Tom and I love Topman a lot. But okay, yeah, number one, delete intro. This one's definitely up here. For a reason just like Topman with like having one of the best vocal like hits I've really heard in music, but this one is consistently um like really emotive, basically just holding on vocals throughout that whole thing. And like really reaching down to this level that like GTB I see machines in this city helicopters when we leave in December. Even the way he says December, like December. Oh my gosh. I, it's and Ty Ty Bagoon comes in comes, um, you know, at the end, and even he kind of understands the, uh, the T here, um, with the vocal, with the vocals here, it's, they really know how to sell on, on just pure bliss, I think this is the best example of this pure, um, bliss, um, yeah, so the, uh, you know, them being able to make songs where you're like, yeah, this is a trap song, this is a rap song, they're doing it. Or songs when you can feel like this is like a bladey ballad. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Blady, for these 50 tracks and even more. Okay, especially being able to finally listen to these in such a great way with, with these, um, with, um, with this channel, right? Like, not really... Like, yeah, I did want to listen to Blade, but I got the perfect opportunity to do it with this channel, so that's awesome. Thank you for watching. Okay, well, we're going to have a lot more fun on this channel, I suppose. Do what, do what I do. I know I'm not, like, I'm not going full off on my Q anymore, my OCD Q, because I need to really force myself to write. We don't know when that shit's going to happen, right? But I'm, like, a fifth through my first draft now, sort of, like a fifth through it. So I can say I'm kind of happy about that, but it doesn't matter. I'm still like, I need to finish more, I need to finish more. So, okay. Peace out. Peace and love, everyone. I'll see you in the next, the next vids. I will. Which I believe the next vid 
is Blady RIP Blady. So be excited, Dream fans.